You're tuned in to Dynamics Talk, hosted by the one and only Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Now, a few weeks ago, I published two videos on the customer intent agent for Dynamics 365 customer service and contact center. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how a custom agent can also use the same intent library. Let's take a look. Now, before I show you how you can configure this, right? Enable for chatbots. You can see that over here. This is going to allow you to add those intent based suggestions to any Copilot Studios studio bot, right? Before I'm going to do that, I am first going to demo that functionality so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to click here on manage and I'm going to connect this to my CS agent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to this work stream that this agent has been connected to. And I am going to copy my live chat widget script here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that script right over here and then run that so that I can test it. And there you go. Here's my chat widget. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate my chat. I'm not going to put in an email address and I'm going to do the same demo, the same questions, the same issue that I did in my previous video where I'm having some issues because my laptop is no longer charging. So that's exactly what I'm going to say. I need some help because my laptop is no longer charging. And what it should do now is recognize the intent that I have as a customer. And it does, you can see here, it says, I understand your laptop is not charging to help you better. Could you please tell me if you have checked the charging connections and if the laptop feels unusually hot. So I'm going to say, uh, yes, all the connections look good. And then it's going to ask me again, does, can you please tell me if the laptop feels unusually hot? No, it doesn't. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's see if it has any other questions for me. Can you please check if the battery drivers are up to date? So yet another question now asking me about the drivers and I'm going to say, yep, the drivers seem to be up to date. So that's really that functionality that I'm talking about, right? So we're now actually having this functionality, this intent functionality now being pulled into this self-service scenario, so to speak. And then you can also see here that it's now showing me because it ran out of questions to ask. Now it's actually showing a knowledge article. And if you want to know how to query uh, the knowledge articles inside of Dynamics 365 customer service or contact center. That's actually a video that I recorded last week. So I'm also using that solution in here as well. And I'll show you um, how that works. So you can see here now it's showing me the knowledge article and then I can say yes, that answered my question or no, it didn't. And then I can be connected to a live agent. So now let's take a look to see how we can set this up, how we can configure this. Now, obviously, or maybe not so obvious before you can enable this for chat bots, you need to make sure that everything for this intent agent, this customer intent agent has been set up, right? So you need to turn it on. You can optionally add a line of businesses. You need to manage the intent discovery setup, the intents, intent groups, and then enable that for support representatives. If you're not sure how to do that, I created a video, two videos actually on this as well. One video that shows you how it works. And then the second video that walks you through those setup stages of this as well. So once you've done this, Right. Then we're going to click here on enable for chatbots and I'm going to click here on manage and that will take you to, as you can see over here as well, the AI agent. So this is showing you a list of agents, right? That are from, that can be edited in Copilot 
studio that are connected to your Dynamics 365 customer service or contact center. Now I'm going to write like I said earlier, right? You saw that this was actually the one that I was working with. So in order to now add those intent based features, you're going to click here on add intent based features. And this is going to open up uh, Copilot Studio where you are going to continue to do this configuration. And this will take you, as you can see, directly into the component co components collections inside of the agent in Copilot Studio. And you can see here that this is currently in preview, but you can see here the installed component collections. I have zero installed currently and the ones that are available. So I'm going to click here on available. And this is the one that we want, right? We want the intent based suggestions that are currently in preview. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ellipse here. And then I'm going to say add to agents and again, add this to agents. So this is going to do a couple of different things. It's going to add some topics, right? That are part of that component collection, as you can see here, that is now installed to my agent. And if you're curious to see what those topics are, you can actually drill into this. And here you can see one, two, three, four, five topics that are actually now part of the agent because I just installed that particular package. So let's go ahead and, and go back here and then let's go ahead and close this out. So now let's take a look at those topics and what I want to do now is that I want to add this behavior of getting that intent and then asking those questions. I want to add that to the conversation flow here in Copilot Studio. Now you can add it obviously to a custom topic, but I'm going to add it to a topic where the agent doesn't understand the intent of that customer, right? So here I'm going to add the intent based suggestions dash main topic to the conversational boosting topic. And you can see that I have it open already. So what I need to do here is I'm going to redirect on unknown intent. I'm going to redirect this conversation to a different topic. And that is that intent based suggestion main topic. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that when we did that installation of what you just saw earlier, right, where I was actually installing the component collection here, it also actually has uh, a different variable that is part of that. So instead of using activity.txt, we're going to use a different variable. I'm going to actually search for that real quick here. It is solution query, as you can see over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that's really right now all of the changes that I'm going to make here. So after this has been done, you can now go ahead and save this. Now, there's another thing that we need to do in here as well. And that's because in order for all of those things for that, that we're in that component collection that we just installed for that to work correctly, we have to point the connection references to valid connections. And you can do this by going to make that and then selecting the environment you're setting this up in, right? So let me show you how to do that as well. So here we are in make.powerapps.com. And again, make sure you are in the correct environment. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate here to solutions and I'm going to look for the default solutions. So let's just go ahead and here we go. We're going to open that and then below objects, we're going to actually search for connection references. So connection references. Let's just give it a second here. There we go. So there's 25 connection references in here. 
what we want to do is we're going to look for something that is called, you're going to see that when I paste that in here, a i a dot c r dot i a plugin d v connector right and you can see it's this particular guy right over here so then what you want to do here is you want to click here on this ellipse you're going to click on edit and this is where you're going to set connect this reference to the correct connection. Now I've already done this, but I still wanted to show you what this looks like. So you can see here the connection it's related to. You can also set up a new connection if you don't have a connection related to this yet. Then you're going to go ahead and close that. And then obviously you want to make sure that you publish your changes as well. Now, as you may know, the intent library is inside of Dynamics 365 customer service or contact center, which means that it lives in Dataverse. And by default, whenever Dataverse is accessed, the user needs to be authenticated. Now, since in this particular instance, I'm using my custom agent, which is going to answer the customer's questions. I don't need any authentication, right? My customers and my prospects do not need to be authenticated. So I'm going to use agent authentication for this. And we're going to need to make that change in, in Copilot Studio. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look for this intent based suggestions dash plugin topic. And I've already configured this as you can see over here, but by default, the authentication for this particular node will automatically be set to over here, user authentication. So you're going to need to go in here and change this to agent author authentication, right? Because otherwise it's going to uh, ask that person to log in, right? So that's why you need to go ahead and do that. And then obviously you need to go ahead and save those changes and then publish your changes as well. Now you also saw earlier that after it asked those questions, it actually gave me a knowledge article, right? So um, this is actually how to set that up. You can also take a look at that in another video that I've already created for this. That way, when it gets through all of those questions that are part of that intent setup, it's going to show your customer uh, that knowledge article. Well, I have to say, I personally love this new feature. I think this is going to really take the pressure off of the customer service reps, right? Because the agent can now ask the questions before anybody is transferred to a live agent. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.